Hey everybody, this is Ozzy and Stephanie here again, and we're on episode number six of working through our cookbook. Yeah, we're working through Gordon Ramsay's Ramsay and Ten. Yeah. So we are excited, very hesitant about this recipe. We're just gonna put that out there. Yeah, I, I am very concerned about this one. Uh, we're actually gonna be making some salmon ceviche. Now, ceviche is actually a huge thing that is normally eaten in the Spanish culture, but I personally do not like it. I don't eat it very often at all. So uh, this is definitely gonna be stretching my palate. Yeah, for sure. Like we've eaten like raw sushi and that kind of thing, but yeah. this is new for us. So it should be actually a fairly simple recipe. The main thing is actually gonna be on Ozzy because I'm deciding that he's going to do most of the cutting of the fish. So we're gonna be watching a lot of that and then I'm assembling a salad to go with it. So it should be interesting. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I think I have to skin the salmon first and then try to fillet it. I have never done this before. So I don't, maybe oh this my. cuts comes off. That oh. makes it look so fishy. <laughs> I feel like an actual chef is probably going to be like, Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> Seriously. It's just so new for us. Okay. So now I'm gonna cut this into strips and they're gonna be pretty thin, aiming for about a quarter inch. All right, so I'm going, I have a quarter of an onion here and I'm going to go ahead and dice this up. All right, so we're gonna take our pepper and we're gonna de-seed it. It's gonna cut off the top and then rip the head off. Easy enough. Enough. And what are we doing with the pepper? So we're going to chop it up. Actually, we're going to grate it. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to mix everything kind of together here for the ceviche. We have some lemon juice. We also have some lemon zest that we're going to throw in there. Uh, we also have some red peppers and then the purple onions and then we'll kind of throw our uh, Our salmon into this. That seasoning should be amazing. Yeah, it smells absolutely yeah. delicious all together I just don't have the world's most confidence in the final outcome of all this <laughs> We shall see though All right, so I have the blood orange here, which actually looks really cool. It's some interesting purpley, orangish color. So I'm going to just be peeling this and then cutting off any excess of this white, which I believe is called the pith. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then I'm just going to cut it into discs and then that's gonna be really pretty. That's gonna go on the salad. And I have prepared already down here, arugula and watercress into a salad. And we're just gonna be adding a couple different things onto there. And I think that's gonna make a really nice side salad. So this is what the blood orange looks like once it is sliced up. And we're gonna take our ends and we're gonna pour that into the ceviche. That should give that a really nice additional flavor. Wow, look at that color. Yeah, it's really nice. I don't nice. really know how to do that. Oh my gosh, it's probably gonna... Splash zone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much a grapefruit, in my opinion, from it's, the taste of it. it. It feels more tender, though. It's softer. Yeah, definitely it is. Okay, wash my hands. Okay, so we're going to take our avocado and then we're going to dice that up and put it into our salad. We're gonna chop the fennel. Now that our fennel bulb is chopped up, we're gonna throw this onto the salad. 
Okay. What does this? Try that out. That the is hot. The top of the fennel. It's like an instant hit of oh, licorice. Yeah. That. That's really is interesting. Unique. This is some interesting stuff. I have never. I've always like seen this kind of thing in the grocery store and wondered what it was. So now we know. All right. So then we put olive oil into this. Yeah. And a pinch of salt, tossed to combine. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this. That's actually going to be really good, I think. Yeah, the salad looks, looks very amazing. tasty. I would have like thought. I would taste it like, like off, if someone made it right boat. in front of me. Yeah, or like, like as soon as it's the fish is caught and I can see it. Yeah. And they're they're preparing the meal right there in front of me. Right. Sure, but. So I'm going to put on the, the peppercorn. Now specifically we bought this because it was showing that it had some red peppercorn and that seemed to be special. Don't know what the difference is. If anybody knows, please let us know what makes red peppercorn special. That looks really pretty. Like the colors on that are beautiful. And then we're going to top it with some fennel leaves. All right, Alrighty. are we ready to dig in? Let's find out what our ceviche tastes like. Okay. Trying to get a little bit of all those different flavors on there. Seriously. There's quite a bit of things on here, so mm -hmm. it is going to be very interesting. All right. Bon appetit. Hmm. Wow. That is such a strong flavor. But it's actually really good. Like, honestly, you don't taste the salmon. Wow. You just taste all the flavors that were around it. Like, the, you have the acidity from the citrus, and then the onions and the pepper. Honestly, I think that all goes together really nicely. Yeah, it's very surprising. Like, you really don't taste the fish. Now, I, it, I More guess- More like an aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else about the plate really comes out. For sure, I feel like the lemon uh, juice was one of the stronger flavors. Yeah, for sure. Let's try the salad. Okay. I guess we should dig into this blood orange a little bit. First. Get a little wedge, some avocado, and some greens. Oh, I want to try some of that fennel in there too. All right. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. That is good. That is very good. Mm. I highly recommend the mixture of the blood orange with the avocado. Yeah. I don't know that the wow. fennel is necessarily like a necessary thing. Like I think when the nice thing with salads, whenever you have that on the side of a meal, honestly, if you have any different types of greens in your fridge, you could probably just put that together. Yeah. But this gives it a nice variety, I guess, so that it's not just arugula or something like that. I feel like the fennel is a, a perfect onion replacement. It's not a oh, super sure. strong onion flavor, but it does have very similar taste to it. Yeah. So. So okay, all in all. So time-wise, I'd say it took about 15 minutes total for us to put this together, and it would be definitely under 10 minutes the second time around, Yeah. because um, we need to be able to kind of tag team a little bit, so not Yeah, it difficult wasn't at difficult all. at all to make any of just it. Just a lot of chopping. Yep. That's it. And then as far <laughs> as cost-wise, it was just around $30 for everything. The fish is obviously going to be the most expensive part. Now, some of the other items, like the vegetables, uh, you can kind of choose whether or not you wanted to have uh, the fennel or if you wanted to have a regular grapefruit versus blood orange grapes yeah. or blood oranges. Um, so yeah, it all depends on exactly what different ingredients you end up grabbing. Yeah, definitely some room for improvisation here. Yeah, so, seriously. Yeah, but very interesting. I'm glad that we accomplished that. Yes. Honestly, I think that we were really nervous about it. Kind of helped us to get past a fear of cooking or preparing raw fish. So, yes, we did it. Yeah, awesome. awesome. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe so that you can see more of our series of going through Gordon Ramsay's Ramsay and 10 cookbook. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.